What is going on tribe and welcome back to another Galaxy of Heroes video with your bald headed boy Scribble wearing a rather fantastic shirt once again. It's becoming quite the trend. You know what also is super trendy? Is getting red box in galactic challenges which we do every Monday and Friday. Let's do this. We are on Takadana and we're against the Ewokes. I'm pretty sure they weren't on Takadana, but that is neither here nor there. We have bonuses for Night Sisters, and everybody knows that Scribble's Night Sisters are best Night Sisters. Global modifiers, safe haven. Essentially, when no characters are deathmarked, then whenever the next person attacks, they will get deathmarked. And it's the only reason that my trash tier night sisters, I mean best tier night sisters, are able to win this galactic challenge. The modifier for the players is limitless magic. The magic literally has no limits. Whenever an ally is revived, all other lights, uh, all other knights, but night sisters gain Icor stacking, which can't be copied, spelled, or prevented. Now, Icor gives a stacking max health, protection, offense, and a speed. You don't actually want that speed, funnily enough. The enemy has got booby traps because they are Ewoks and they're mischievous little murder bears. Essentially, they've got additional counter chance, additional speed, and whenever an enemy, at whenever we attack an ally out of turn, attack an Ewok out of turn, we are going to get stunned, which cannot be evaded or resisted. Feats, then. We need to win with a full team of trash to awesome tier Night Sisters, and we need to complete the battle after attempting to inflict 30 damage over times and complete the battle after gaining stealth 10 times. I'm going to break this up into a couple of videos, but let's first start with our trash amazing tier, Night Sisters. And behold, our Night Sisters in all of their glory. Gear 8s and 12s and 10s across the board, a couple of Zetas here or there. It's marvellous. There's probably some RNG in this, but I went in first time last time and just got the dubs. Let's see if we can do it again because I wasn't recorded. So this is definitely a little bit RNG. If your Night Sisters are as weak as mine, if they're not, you'll have no problems doing this. What you want to try and do is save most of your specials for when there's no death mark on the field. That way you can use specials that don't deal damage to try and time it out so that the Ewoks always or almost always get death mark, okay? So we're just going to keep on rolling over here. Now, the Ewoks will always, always, always counterattack, basically, which is really, really annoying. But um, it's, 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 you know, it is what it is. As long as we don't lose Daka now, we should be fine. Let's get that nice big chonky revive. And of course, you get the days on Daka, even though she's got like 170% tenacity. Don't, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. She, your Daka doesn't need tenacity because tenacity is pointless against Logray, apparently. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm going to use the heal here and the cleanse just because I need to get a little bit more survivability on my team. We're going to do the mass assist on Logray just because Ewok Elder over there is going to take the next turn. Ooh, looks like Nisa has got death mark. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. The only problem with Nisa having death mark is she's always going to counterattack. And unless you have tenacity down on her, it's almost impossible to land debuffs. So she's going to basically shred the entire team. Uh, let's see if we can land a stun. Of course we can't. There comes the counterattacks out of Nisa. Let's see if we can do something to her. Ooh, here we go. Can we get rid of Nisa? Oh, huge. And now it's gone over to Chief Chirper. So this is great. This is a really good position to be in. I'm going to do the AoE here. And let's get the revive. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now is where we have to start being careful. We have to start being careful because we want to make sure, if at all possible, that we don't get death mark on any of our um, Night Sisters. Okay. So let's get that revive going. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use this special. Hopefully get some more plague on the go. Um, having a look around, we're safe to do a basic because if we kill Chirper here, it looks like Ewok Elder's taking the next turn. There we go. Ewok Elder now has death mark. Let's just basic him. Oh, you leave my Dakar alone, Wicket. Uh, yep, let's basic again. Lovely. Gonna save this uh, AoE cleanse because it does no damage. We want to try and make sure that Wicket over there gets the next attack. Now, I've modded my... Um, Night Sisters to be very slow, so we should be able to time this out. Okay, good. So you see a situation like this? We're going to just use the revive. We'll just use the revive. Beautiful. And over here, we'll use the cleanse. Beautiful. Now we're in trouble, though. Now we're in trouble. So I'm just going to basic. Unfortunate. Oh, gosh. Is it just always going to go out to our characters now? We may have a bad situation here where Wicket just solos our characters. Come on. Don't be that guy, Wicket. Okay, great. There we go. Wicket has got death mark. We should be fine from here. Uh, like, it gets a little bit hairy, but we're okay. And that's how you can get the wins with Night Sisters, even with trash tier Night Sisters. It's all about timing out those specials, making sure the enemy gets the death mark, and uh, just playing it cool. Playing it cool. 
So with Dots and Stealth, I'm going to be using a Darth Maul leadership with Vader. Vader's there for the Dots. Malak over here is going to be um, basically constantly taunting. I also have Malak fast and Vader slow. Malak is immune to percentile health effects like Death Mark, so it makes it very, very easy for him to just be ignoring the fact that he's got Death Mark. So if he's very fast, like mine is, I can quite happily just go bloop, and he'll always have Death Mark. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? He'll always have Death Mark, and he doesn't care. And then go into Merciless Massacre. I don't care if the enemy starts counterattacking now, because they're just going to hit Malak, and Malak is just going to shrug it off, and they're going to get feared. So this is totally fine as far as I'm concerned. Yep, even get the dodge going on there. One of those force crushes is worth 15 attempted dots. 15! It's really quite nice. Um, I'm then going to use the drain on Ewok Elder over here. I'm going to drop another dot, and that's all the dots that we need to get done. We don't have to land the dots, you only have to attempt to do them. So we are totally fine now. Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to isolate Nisa, and I'm going to reset the cooldowns on Nihilus. Now Nisa can't counterattack or anything like that do a life drain over here and it's just we're plain sailing from here guys we are plain sailing from here nothing the enemy can do right now which is great get rid of that foresight from Ewok Elder boop 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 Malak is just gonna sit there like a happy little chappy and let's I don't know do some damage to Nisa and we're just gonna one by one systematically get rid of the enemy team get rid of the enemy team and everybody will be a very happy happy individual uh, let's see, can we get shock on Nisa? I don't know why, it doesn't even really matter, truth be told. It really doesn't. Every time they attempt to attack us as well, those AoEs, you see all these stealths, thanks to the Zeta lead on Maul, it just makes our lives so, so very easy. So, so very easy. I'm going to life drain on Ewok Elder. I'll just basic over here. And basic over here. We're just waiting, essentially, for Nihilus to take a turn so that um, we can annihilate someone. Who should we go for over here? I mean, let's just get rid of Nisa, I guess. Get rid of Nisa. No more Nisa in the team. She cannot be revived. Isn't that wonderful? Just basic with Malak. And you can probably put it on auto at this point because it's highly unlikely that they do anything to us of any sort of import. And even though Malak is taunting, he is actually stealthing when they crit him. It's just immediately dropping so he can taunt. It's great. It's great. Uh, looks like there's still a bunch of foresight, unfortunately. So let's cleanse off that foresight. And look, we've, we've got another force crush. Even though we don't need it, you know, this is just showing how we can do even more stuff and things. Even more stuff and things. There goes Ewok Elder as well. And we've still got that nice little death mark over on our Malak. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? I'm just going to life drain away and we're just going to build it around. We're just going to wade it on out. Waiting on out until uh, until we can get another annihilate off. Who do I want to do this to? Let's do it on let's do it on Wicket so he can't help out his allies. And I'll decrease the cooldowns on Nihilus. Decreasing cooldowns on Nihilus to help get around to that annihilate just that little bit quicker. Little bit quicker. All right, let's uh, suck off cheap chirver. There we go. That's one less murder beer to bother us. Now it's just down to Logre and Chief Chir and Wicket. Sorry. Boop -de -boop -de -boo. We're about to get another Annihilate off as well. Isn't that great? Let's just keep focusing on that logger bottom. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Let's save that. Save that special from Nihilus. Just a basic. Logre is nearly dealt with. Nearly dealt with. Come on, Logre. You know you want to bite the duck. There you go. And an Annihilate to finish off. And that's going to be stealths. And that's going to be attempt to do 30 dots with just one team. Isn't that wonderful? Honestly, like I said, if you've got Lord Vader, just throw in Lord Vader into a Darth Maul team like that with that Zeta leadership and you'll get those dots no problem. And that's going to about do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode of Galactically Challenged. If it was useful to you, make sure you leave a comment. Tell me the team that you used. Hit that like button and also say how wonderfully amazing my amazingly fantastic patrons are. You guys really are the balls. All right, ladies and gentlemen, until the very next video, peace out. And may the Force be with you.